Hola muchachos, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, back to back with another video here. Daily videos, cherry picking the subjects of the tree of knowledge as I go through my hero's journey. And it's clear, I want to get stronger physically and mentally. And uh, I'm going to share the tools that I use and uh, hopefully you will share uh, back to me. See, um, we all got an opportunity anytime to become the best you, right? At any time. And a big part of it is the word. Remember the good book? It all started with the word, right? So pay attention to the word. I want to draw in some analogies and I'm going to quote. I think I might even quote uh, Mother Teresa, but she, I think she was quoting someone else. How y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are staying fit and firm. That's a big part of this journey, being human and finding a way to put yourself in a position to take that next step, step to give you value, right? Success, the path to success is really realizing that um, you're like um, a vehicle um, on the yellow brick road, right? And uh, you got to take agency of this vehicle. You got to realize that the trail that you leave behind is not the force pushing your vehicle forward. It is the now. It is the now. And you need to be focused only on what is now and what is forward. If you're able to do that, you're able to take agency, right? But you got to put yourself in that position. And uh, if you're lost, you feel like you got many bolts out there. You got to make sure the boat is pounding pointing on the right direction. What I'm saying is, I believe uh, in order to have success, you can't look at that trail, um, not at all. If, if, if what's going on in your mind is what is, right? What is, what is, what is, it is, and it is, and it is, or it was, and then it will continue being what is. The world will dish back more of what is. So it really is all about going to that limit and pushing that a little bit further and finding a place where we can find wonder and awe in that, right? Gentlemen. So can we reprogram ourselves? Can we manifest anything into reality? I believe we can. I really believe we can. And it's all in baby steps. It's all in baby steps. Um, I'm trying to learn how to meditate. I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with finding a place to sit. I'm struggling with everything. But I will share with you what I've learned. And uh, it's all about the breathing. Now there's different techniques, right? I think my technique is called endless breathing uh, or continuous breathing. Um, not that I'm playing the didgeridoo or nothing, but uh, the way I see it, you got to kind of visualize. I'm gonna, I'm, it's a little bit uh, trippy here, boys. Bear with me. But uh, I hope you can use it if you take time and put yourself in this position. Maybe it will help you get some clarity because we need that clarity to get to this enlightenment. I, I'm going to get here eventually, but here's what I do. And it, I'm just starting in the world of meditation, boys, right? You're aligning your chakra, right? You're sitting down. You got your eyes closed. And I'm now going to visualize the way that I breathe and the way I align my chakra. And it's intended for you to get better focus and give you a space to realize where you are and I hope that you can feel that when you try it. So uh, I breathe through the nose. I think a few years back I was actually more of a mouth breather, breather more than I would like to admit but uh, through a sheer determination I'm, I'm now only breathing through the nose and everything I do. And exact, in fact, my sinuses have really, it's worked out very good. So focus on breathing through the nose. And if you have trouble with it, it, you can actually train yourself to breathe through the nose. So don't worry about that. You might have to start there. 
learning how to breathe through the nose, right? So you're breathing, right? That's step one. You're sitting down, you've got your eyes closed, and you're kind of aligning your chakra, all these different levels, all the way up for your core. And then I want you to visualize when you breathe that you're breathing through right here. And you're going to breathe, you're going to visualize your breathing like the figure eight, like an endless loop, like a figure eight. So you're breathing through right here. The air comes through here. And as you breathe, it goes through all your vital organs, your heart and your spinal core. And it goes through your brain and it goes back again in one breath. And that's the top part of this eight figure loop, right? As you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you do the bottom part of this eight figure. And then every time you do that, you adjust your position and you focus on this language of value. Because I think the road to success is you realizing that you got to build a filter that only allows language that has value for you, right? Because things that are, you know, you're spending time on things that was, things that as is, right? We, if, if you want to move forward, if you want to learn, and a lot of us do, I think this is the approach. And then as you do that, as you're doing the meditation, it don't have to take long. If you, you, I think, I feel personally, for me, it's probably a minute, is, it might be enough. I do a lot of workout. I probably spend two hours on average every single day on my physical well-being working out with a pretty intense workout every day two hours minimum with lots of stretching um, so in that I kind of try to incorporate that into that or find a space before or after that where I can do that but that meditation has given me a way to focus and kind of decide what is the order of the day, which is, has been so healthy for me. I just want to remind you guys, so healthy. And it's like everything's resisting, but that's again, a ben who, who's got agency of what we're doing, right? Who's got agency of what we're doing? If I was to bring in some analogy and you're this vehicle on the yellow brick road, uh, and uh, I, I like to think that all of us kind of have this uh, dream in the back of our heads to become the best we can be. And I think you gotta, you got to wake up to the enlightenment that you can become the best you anytime you want. Anytime you want. It truly is possible. You just have to start with the word. Remember that uh, it all started with the word, right? So from that position you might find that word if you focus a little bit, right? And then um, my advice is that, here's some analogy, if we're vehicles moving through life on our hero's journey, on the yellow brick road, on the way to success, great success um, and glory, um, we got to realize what's powering the bolt, the moment, the force that's powering the bolt, is what's interesting, right? And putting us in that situation of agency so we in control of the boat right and I think a great analogy is you looking back at this boat that we're traveling in this vehicle and you look at the trail you look at the vault behind the boat you look at the trail and imagine that's all your past your thoughts it's not driving the boat the trail is not pushing the vehicle forward not at all right so if you want to be a winner if you want success if you want to get stronger remember here's the thing Think about it, your brain, your brain that made up the problem is not going to be the brain that solves the problem, right? So you got to move forward from, from that, right? Reprogramming yourself. I want, I, I recently, um, right, I'm going to quote, um, 
I think Mother Teresa was known for this, uh, I think it was called the Mother Teresa poem, but actually it's called the Paradoxical Commandments, and it was written by an American gentleman called Dr. Kent Keith, uh, an American writer, and I just want to quote this because I think it's got, you've probably seen it on refrigerators or whatever, I'm pretty sure this be printed everywhere, but I think it's a great value set to end on because this is the stuff we want to fill our minds with. This is the stuff we want to motivate us to drive us forward and get stronger, uh, both mentally and physically, right? So I'm going to read up uh, the 10 paradoxical commandments um, by Kent Keith. Number one, people are illogical, unresponsible, and self-centered. Love them anyways. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives, but do good anyways. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyways. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyways. The biggest men and the biggest wi women with the biggest ideas can be shut down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds, but think big anyways. People favor underdogs, but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs, anyways. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight, built anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyways. Give the world the best you have, and you'll get kicked in the teeth, but give the world the best you have anyways. That was the paradoxal commandments and I hope life is treating you well. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. Uh, I'm glad that we finally got the blue skies back here um, today. Uh, I got nothing but chores, chores, chores. Um, but I'm glad we did this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember they're random, they're unscripted and I can't do this without you guys. I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to share with you guys and hopefully we can do it together. So much love, and I'll see you on the tripod tomorrow with an even better video. Yes, I'm out. Bye-bye.